Welcome to the channel Tech and More. So, as part of the ongoing series that is Salesforce concepts to know as a Salesforce tester, wherein we'll be discussing all the different pointers that you need to know as a tester if you're planning to move to the Salesforce domain. We'll be discussing one more topic or rather multiple topics for the day. But before that, if you have not seen the before videos or the previous videos of this entire series of this entire uh, course or series or playlist as you may call i would suggest that you go ahead and uh, start from the very first video and then carry on and i'm sure that you will be able to velvers yourself into salesforce and enter into the salesforce domain as a qa professional so happy watching and uh, let's go back to the main video or the main topic for the day which is today we'll be discussing multiple pointers regarding the personas that is users profiles permission sets public groups and queues right so first of all let's start with users and i'm quite sure that by now you must be aware of what users are if you have seen the previous videos but again it is my job to elaborate and discuss each and everything in detail just to make sure that you know the technicalities as well so a user as the name suggests is someone who has access to the org uh, she or he will have a username and a password to log in right so the, as you can see on the screen right now these are the multiple users that we have in the dev org so i'm going to the dev org now and i'll show you the users that we have in the org right now again what is a dev org how to create one again you can go ahead to the playlist and therein you will find the video with all the details that you need to know so what users are is basically you know wherein you have the username you have the password and when you log in or when you go to this particular uh, url per se therein you'll be able to put in your username your password and login that is what a user is typically in a salesforce right now any user will have n number of different configurations on it right so first of all it will and you know we are navigating from users to other topics but i'll be showing you how users profiles permissions it's everything correlate to the user record right so first of all let's see profiles so i have opened a sample user record for you which is james potter right and uh, let's see the profile that it has it has the profile as system administrator right so that is what the profile is this is role that is the role is manager right then this is permission set don't worry what these are i'll explain you but i just want to show you how these different configurations correlate to a user specifically right so this is a permission set right and uh, then we have public groups and queues that we'll see after this now first of all what is a profile per se right so a profile is basically uh how users access the objects and data and what they do can do within the application when you create users you assign a profile to each one right now the point is that a profile basically will have multiple users right how do you see that so let me go ahead and click on this profile for that matter and uh, it will open the list of all users that is that that it has right so let's wait for a second here and it will open up the profile that we are talking about i'll click on view users and all the people who have been assigned this particular profile are here right now what is the power of profile is that a profile handles the different permissions the different configurations and all those permissions and configurations that are assigned to this particular profile will be assigned to the users who are assigned this particular profile i'll explain so as you can see on the screen right now this is a profile for system administrator right and these there are n number of configurations that you can see on the screen right now wherein you can you know uh, control the field level security and for those of you who do not know what field level security or object level security is please go ahead watch the playlist and therein you will find a video by the name of sales for security model and you you will be able to understand but yes coming to the main topic so profiles basically are wherein you can handle n number of different permissions object level field level record level right all these different configurations and every user needs to have a profile so in this case this user which is james potter has a profile system admin and whatever permissions are given to this particular profile that is uh, for example this particular profile can go ahead and read the accounts i'm giving you an example right so when you assign the profile of system admin to the user james potter right in that case the user james potter will also be able to go ahead 
and read an account and similarly for other objects and their related permissions right that's the point so this is what a profile is and mind you a profile will have multiple users but one user cannot have multiple profile and you have to understand this right as a user when you log in and not only in salesforce either even in amazon or any place right uh, when you log in you always will have different users logged in and every user will have one set of profile that is either they are simple customers or they are admins right and likewise so every user can have only one profile or one role but one profile will have multiple users that is when you log into amazon you are a customer so you have a customer profile n number of people like you have a customer profile right so that is the job of a profile here now i hope that profile is uh, clear enough to you now we'll go on to uh, queues right so that is the third topic for this video queues and uh, you have the definition here so it says salesforce queues are a collection of records that do not have any owner users who have access to the queue can examine every related record that there is and claim ownership of the ones they want now to make things simpler for you i'll give you an example so you, you there is a case object in salesforce right now the thing is that you know what uh, i'll give you i'll i'll talk to you with a practical example let's suppose you're using iphone right and you have some some complaint some some sort of problem going on in the iphone right so what you do is that you raise a case you raise a complaint case slash complaint and that case slash complaint goes to the apple store guys right and they are using salesforce now so they get this case wherein you say that you know what i have this case wherein the issue is so and so and the uh, status in so and so the case number is automatically generated by salesforce right now what happens is that this case might be assigned to one person that is case owner so whenever you create a case or whenever you raise a complaint you are given a, a representative to handle it right so that is what that that representative is nothing but case owner in salesforce right so you have this case owner here and there might be a situation when let's suppose you as a user have raised a complaint and n number of other people are raising complaint as well and do you think there is only one person handling uh, the apple complaints in your city of course no if there are n number of people right so just to make sure that these cases are diverted to each and every person of that team the concept of case queues arises right that is queue as the name suggests it is a queue or a line wherein uh, for that particular city n number of people are assigned to that queue and whenever a case is created those cases are assigned to every person in that queue one by one right so when i create this case i'll have a case queue as a owner and how does this case queue look at the back end we'll go ahead and see so i will go ahead and search for queues here right now if you can see it properly i have this queue already configured and it says that whatever cases are assigned to the cases queue wherever the case owner is cases queue that is the name of the queue here you assign it to the people who are in this group this public group which is security user and james potter so these two people will be assigned cases one by one and uh, what are public groups that if you can see here public group is actually what you are thinking of right now it is just a group of users so whenever you want to assign people uh, or send something or assign something to a group of people all together not one by one that is when you use groups a more practical example or mo a more correlatable example for you is that if you are planning on sending an email to uh, let's suppose uh, if you're working with an organization and you're planning to send an email to only the tech team so you have a group dedicated for tech team you have a group dedicated for operations you have a group dedicated for hr right so you just simply click on that group and all the hundreds 100 150 techies in that group will be automatically added and sent and you need not go ahead and add one by one so that is the similar job of public groups in salesforce right so this is all you need to know about queues and uh, public groups there is n number of details i can tell you about it but as a tester who is planning to move to the salesforce domain and work on salesforce projects i am sure that this amount of information is enough for you and you will be able to completely convince your interview that the amount of knowledge that you need to have in your domain is sufficient right so that is all about public groups and queues right then permission sets now 
a permission set is basically a collection of settings and permissions that gives users access to the various tools and functions. Again, a definition, I'll give you an example. So let me take you to the permission sets first. And mind you, this is in setup. And I know if you're watching the video still now, you know what is setup and why setup is termed as the powerhouse of Salesforce, right? Now, again, coming back to the main thing that is talking about permission sets. See, permission sets are basically a combination of where uh, settings right so if you want to give the user james potter so let's suppose by default james potter's profile has access to read accounts right but not more than that now what happens is that in in the profile system admin right 10 people are assigned this particular profile right now out of 10 people only one per person needs to have the create permission on the accounts as well and other nine people will have the read permission right i'll give you I'll, I'll talk to you on the ui so you'll be able to understand it better so as the person who is assigned the profile system admin by default the permission on editing this particular field on account right it is read nobody should be able to edit this particular field by default if someone is assigned system admin correct now understand one thing there was an ex exception that james potter users this particular user needs a needs a way by which it is able to create or edit an account or an account field right so in that particular case the profile cannot be changed because if it does then the other users will also be able to create or edit which is not the case which is not expected right so Permission sets come into picture. Permission sets are basically an extension of profiles. That is the keyword. Permission sets are basically an extension of profiles. If you want to give some, give or take some uh, permission uh, to a specific user, which is not there on their profile, and you do not want to impact the other users. In that case, permission sets are used. For example, these are all different permission sets, right? Sales Cloud user is a permission set. It says that the that this user is a sales cloud user now if you want this particular user that is james potter with the profile of system admin if you want him or her to go ahead and you be a sales cloud user as well then you need not change make changes in any profile you just simply need to go over here click on permission set assignments you need to click on edit assignments and you need to select that particular assignment from here save it and bang you'll be able to uh, simply work as a sales cloud user that is all what permission sets are. It is as simple as that. So next time, if someone asks you, what is a permission set? You tell them that permission sets are basically an extension of a profile. Cool. And uh, these are public groups that you see on the screen right now. This is nothing to be uh, concerned about because this is something that we've already discussed. So all in all, this was a quick video on these different topics and these you know, uh, you will find that you will uh, the the information that you have learned in this video is, will suffice you for an interview for going for a project uh, as a Salesforce tester. So, again, thank you so much for walking. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, uh, I hope to see you in the other videos. Thank you.